Hi, this is Stuart Shumway. This video clip explains how to extrapolate in Google Sheets. So extrapolate would be to predict what is going to happen in the future based on data. Let's say you have measurements of the weight and length of a fish over five years and you want to know after years six and seven well, so we can graph these just so we can see what's going on. And then we're going to edit this graph, edit this chart. <clears throat> and customize series. And let's just do the length first. Um, add a trend line. Well, the default is linear. You can see it doesn't fit the blue dots really well. However, if we show the R squared value, um, it is there. Oh yeah, 0.97. That's not bad. Um, but what if we change that to exponential. Now 0.9, that's not as good. Polynomial. 0.99, wow, that's really good. 0.99. Anyways, different options. Let's use polynomial, that's not too bad. 0.99. And here where it says label, we'll use the equation so that we can see what the equation is. And then we can use that to predict points in the future. Well, let's do the same thing for weight. So in series, we'll change that to the weight. And he's on the right axis. We'll add a trend line there. Linear does not fit that great. Well, it's not. Well, let's add the R squared just so we can see. R squared is 0.98. That's really actually pretty good. Um, but I think we can do better. <clears throat> let's see what exponential does. No. The fit is decent, but let's go polynomial. 0.99. Wow, that's really good. Let's try that. So it has the, we're using the equation, we're showing R squared. So now, over here in our table, we can add year six. And seven. So, in the length, let's type in the equation equals. We'll just type it just like it is. It starts out at negative 0.2, then adds 5.77x. Well, let's just multiply that by a7. So that's the sixth year. And then we're going to add a negative 0.429, or I'll just subtract a point. 429 multiply that by x squared so we'll just say times a7 times a7 again there we have it after six years it should be pretty close to 19 inches long well let's do that same thing for the weight a little different equation start out with equals 0 0.04 plus 0.18 3 x which would be a7 and we're going to add 0 0.0429 x squared so we'll say a7 times a7 so it'll be 2.7 pounds more or less and now if we click and drag and then we can 
to year 7 automatically updated the graph to predict those two that we didn't actually measure we're just kind of predicting so that's how you extrapolate using Google Sheets.